The United States Air Force has been at the forefront of drone technology for several decades now. Initially, drones were primarily used for reconnaissance roles, providing valuable intelligence to the military without risking the lives of soldiers or sparking diplomatic issues with nations being spied on. However, the military has recently developed more powerful and cost-effective drones that are capable of performing combat operations. Launch, launch, launch. One such drone is the Valkyrie, which has been designed to be the autonomous wingman of F-22 and F-35 aircraft. Apart from being an invaluable asset in combat, the Valkyrie drone can also launch its own set of unmanned devices that can further assist in war zones. The drone is equipped with a mini-drone, identified by plate number one, which is launched from its weapons bay. Experts claim that the Valkyrie stealth drone represents the first step towards a new era of combat and advanced warfare. The drones have evolved significantly in terms of weight, dimensions and usage over the years. In conjunction with remotely piloted aircraft, RPA vehicles, drones have been used to gather intelligence on designated targets before launching devastating airstrikes. An excellent example of such a drone is the General Atomics Predator drone, which has been in service since the late 1990s. It is equipped with lethal air-to-surface Hellfire missiles and has seen combat all over the world, particularly in the recent American interventions in the Middle East. The United States Air Force has been looking for a new type of drone that can actively collaborate with manned aircraft during operations. In collaboration with numerous tech firms, the Air Force developed an attributable drone as part of the low-cost attributable strike demonstrator program. Defense News Magazine defines the term attritable drone as an asset that can be reused but is inexpensive enough for a commander to anticipate and be comfortable with a certain number of losses during combat. After partnering with Kratos Defense and Security Solutions, the Air Force selected the XQ-58A Valkyrie, an experimental stealthy unmanned combat aerial vehicle for its capabilities. The XQ-58A Valkyrie is a cutting-edge drone designed to act as a loyal wingman and assist in escorting F-22 and F-35 aircraft during combat missions. This drone is fully capable of carrying weapons, firing them, and deploying surveillance systems, making it an invaluable asset in the field. The Valkyrie is operated by a parent aircraft and can successfully scout, gather intelligence, find objectives, and attack enemy air and ground assets. However, what sets the Valkyrie apart from other drones is its innovative airframe design, which features stealth technology. It boasts a trapezoidal fuselage, a trined engine reminiscent of the legendary SR-71 Blackbird, a V-tail, and an S-shaped air intake. With a wingspan of 22 feet and a length of approximately 28 feet, it can reach a maximum speed of 652 miles per hour and an estimated range of 2,400 miles. The XQ-58A Valkyrie is equipped with the latest technology. It can carry up to eight weapons, which are split into two weapon bays. The drone can attack with precision-guided Joint Direct Attack Munitions, JDM, or small diameter bombs. It is also considered an attritable drone, with each copy valued at an estimated $2 million. This is significantly cheaper than losing an F-22 or F-35 in combat, making the Valkyrie a cost-effective and valuable asset for the US Air Force. During testing, the Valkyrie proved its worth by successfully escorting the F-22 and F-35 aircraft and achieving expected statistics. In fact, it was found to have everything that is required to become a loyal wingman and Kratos and Air Force officials turned to the next step of the program, giving the unmanned Valkyrie the capability to launch additional drones from its weapon bay. The Valkyrie carried a software package called Gateway 1, which enabled communication between the incompatible machine languages of the two aircraft. This feature has earned it the nickname Tradable One in the Air Force. The Valkyrie drone's impressive performance during tests while flying alongside two American aircrafts has caught the attention of the U.S. Air Force, who are now considering purchasing 20, 30 Valkyrie drones for further testing. Steve Findlay, the president of Kratos Unmanned Systems Division, expressed his pride in the press, saying, I am extremely proud of our development, production, and test teams who achieve successful results in record time on our comprehensive system-level efforts which is rare within the aerospace and defense industry. The successful trials have paved the way for a final test involving a new weapon system. This led to the development of a small tube-launched autonomous drone known as LTS-600, marking the beginning of a new era in warfare. On March 26, 2021, Valkyrie's sixth test flight took place at Yuma Proving Ground, Arizona. During the flight, something unusual happened that caught the attention of many witnesses. Valkyrie was seen releasing an unmanned aerial system, US, from its payload bay. 
The UAS with the plate number LTS-600 was developed by Area 1, a Georgia-based company specializing in UAV systems. Area 1 describes the UAS as an autonomous tube-launched air-launched system, ALE, that can be delivered as all-up rounds and be operational within minutes. It is designed to support multi-domain operation systems, which means it can be launched from air, sea, and ground platforms such as the common launch tube, pneumatically integrated launch system, and other launch systems. The device has been successfully launched from various platforms, including AC-130S, UH-60 helicopters, ground vehicles and watercraft. Once launched, the UAS has an endurance of more than 4 hours and an approximate range of 276 miles per hour. The small drone weighs 27 pounds and can carry a payload of up to 6 pounds stored in its nose. It can be used for various purposes, such as countering UAVs, electronic warfare, reconnaissance and intelligence scenarios. Kratos and Area 1 collaborated with the US Air Force to develop a special carriage that allowed Valkyrie to launch the drone. The US Air Force is planning to purchase over a hundred Valkyrie drones to enhance their capabilities. The successful test flight of Valkyrie and the UAS from Area 1 showcase the growing importance of unmanned aerial systems in military operations. According to military expert Chris Osborne, the use of Valkyrie drones in conjunction with manned fifth-generation stealth jets could introduce a new sphere of tactical possibilities in modern warfare. The Valkyrie drone can provide an extended range to manned aircraft for conducting high-risk operations in areas that may pose a threat to soldiers and pilots. It can also be used to test enemy air defences and areas with high security surveillance systems where humans can be easily detected. Apart from its ability to fight on its own, Osborne has reported that the program in Valkyrie to launch many drone attacks from it and keep it safe is a game-changer in itself. This paves the way for the future of warfare by constructing a layered kind of mesh network which extends targeting reach and combat scope. Furthermore, if controlled by military personnel from remote stations, Valkyrie can be used to fire weapons to terminate priority targets or gather intelligence that can be immediately updated in army servers. The ability to send real-time video and other data directly into a fighter jet cockpit without the need for a server or station could greatly reduce latency to speed up real-time combat orders. Steve Fendley, on the other hand, added that the successful operation of the internal weapons release system or function, along with further aerodynamic envelope increases, continues to assert the incredible capability and cost per performance value of the low-cost attributable XOG 58A Valkyrie. He concluded by stating that there is still much more to come. In conclusion, the new capabilities of a drone that can launch additional mini-drones like the Valkyrie are a significant boost to modern warfare as they extend targeting reach and combat scope. Let us know in the comments below what you think of the new possibilities that this technology brings.